All right, today we're going to make our own op art. The first thing you're going to need is a juicy lemon or a placemat to lay down, a piece of paper, a ruler, and a pencil, and an eraser. An eraser is always good to have. As always, please put your name on your paper and then flip it over so your name's on the back. Now we're going to trace our hand. So you want to lay your hand flat down and about an inch from the top and then splay out your fingers so they're wide. Now we're going to trace our hand, keep our pencil vertical so we get a good trace because if you don't do that, you're going to get something that looks kind of like this or if you're too fast, any of that. And neither one of those are going to work. If you have a ruler, it would be ideal, but you don't need one. We're going to draw a bunch of lines behind the tracing of the hand. So don't draw any lines through the hand right now. And I'm just going to use the width of the ruler to kind of measure out the thickness of my lines. When you get up to the fingers, make sure you get all the spaces in between the fingers too. Now I'd like us to make more lines, so I'm going to use the ruler and line up the holes with one of the lines. So when I can see the line through the holes, then I'm going to trace the top part of the ruler and the bottom part of the ruler. And then I'm going to use those two lines to line up the edge of the ruler to fill up the background with straight lines. After you've filled the whole page with straight lines, you're going to connect those lines over the hand. I use a ruler to kind of keep track of where they connect, but you have to use your imagination and pretend that that line goes over your arm. It is easy to skip a line, so just keep track and erase when you need to. And again, when you go over the fingers, just imagine the line going over your hand. Now, through the magic of television, I was able to finish this very quickly. Now, I just want to show you a couple spots down at the bottom I filled in. When you go over the thumb, you may not get back to the line exactly, or the knuckles. So you're just trying to imagine how it would float over your hand. And after you've done that, we're going to erase it to push those lines back and add color. Now, you, you can color this any way you want to. This is your piece of artwork. You're the artist. Make your choices. I'm going to show you one way that works. I'm going to use the cool colors, and I'm going to go from the darkest color to the lightest color. And I'd like to use three colors. And I start off with tracing all of the lines with the darkest color. And through the magic of television, then you want to use that same color to lightly thicken up all the lines inside the hand. Now move on to the background and lightly thicken up those lines too. Now I want you to see this detail of how when I got really close to the hand, I made it darker. I shaded it darker. So I'm going to do it here on the right side so you can kind of see the difference. Then it's a matter of repetition. You take your next color. You're going to shade a thicker line inside the hand. Then you want to shade the background. And then I'm going to shade those lines in the background a little darker where they touch the hand to make it look like it's popping off the page. Finally, I'm going to take my last color and I'm going to fill in the hand. Lightly shade in all the rest of the white spaces. And then color in the background, remembering to shade darker where it touches the hand. And there's your finished piece. Now I use color pencils, but you're welcome to use markers. The process is very similar with you use markers. You first start by tracing your hand and doing the lines in the background. Connecting the lines. Pretending they go over the hand, lowering it lightly with an eraser. And then I usually start with a black marker and I'm going to trace over every line. After you've traced all the lines in black, you can choose your colors. I like to use at least three and go from the darkest to lightest. And I want to trace underneath those black lines until the page is full. And then take your next color and repeat the process. Tracing again underneath each one of those lines until you've filled the page with that second color. You can see how I'm doing it here. And finally take your last color and fill up all the white spaces. Now you are not limited to just three or four colors. You can use as many colors as you want to, whichever colors you want to. It really is up to you. Now I didn't really shade with the markers, but you can use a black color pencil and shade those lines darker as they get closer to your hand. I hope the video helped. Good luck. I'll see you in space, buckaroos.